how can I sort my VBA array now that I've created it and I've realized that it's out of order and I need to sort it in a way that is not going to be really difficult or anything like that. I'm your host Sean McKenzie and in this episode we're going to talk about how to uh, implement an easy to program sorting algorithm uh, in Microsoft Access VBA uh, so that you can sort your, your arrays you know, how you want to do it. Now other languages that are sort of more, more current, I guess you'd say like Python or .NET languages, they have sort of methods that you can use directly on the array object which are totally handy like dot sort but unfortunately in VBA we don't have that and so we need to program our own sorting algorithm our, our own sorting procedures using algorithms um, and there's all kinds of sorting algorithms that are out there um, from the lowly bubble sort which which is sort of like the lowest one and it's incredibly slow um, and then there's there's quick sort and heap sort and some other ones um, that are a little bit more difficult to program and so if we want to sort of have a balance between you know something that's readily usable and easy to implement um, the sorting that I would choose would be insertion sort uh, which is a very easy simple algorithm to implement unfortunately it doesn't work for really big data sets because it's too slow uh, but it's sort of in between like if you need a sorting uh, if you need a sorting algorithm that will get the job done and it's not too slow and you can use it for the majority of your your small and medium sized data sets. Uh, we will be looking at uh, quick sort in a later episode so make sure you stay tuned for that but for now uh, without further ado let's get to our insertion sort in Microsoft Access. Need help or coaching in your project? Make sure to check out my Patreon the link is in the description. Okay, so I'm using a file we've been using many times, and I've created a, uh, some array modules for our previous episodes, but I'm going to go to that Create ribbon. I'm going to create a new module, and I'm going to call it uh, Array Sort, and uh, that'll be our starting point. And we're going to program a couple of uh, subs here to, to demonstrate insertion sort and how to use it. But first, you guys might be wondering, what is insertion sort? Okay, so insertion sort is essentially looking at an array, in this case a very simple array of one to five, but they're out of order, and it moves forward from the second position to the end of the array, and it looks at each number. So it starts with the second and says, hey, is the first one uh, greater than me? If, if yes, then switch, otherwise no. So in this case, it doesn't do anything. What's the next number? It's two. Uh, is the number just before that position greater than 2? If yes, then we switch the number to that number and we keep going. Um, and if that one is also greater than 2, then we move that number out and we insert the number where uh, the pattern stops. So moving on, we're, we're, we've got 3. 5 is greater than 3, so we switch the position of that keep moving until we hit one that isn't greater than three. So four is greater than three, so that one will get switched. And then uh, the last two is not greater than three, so we inserted three in the second position. And for the last one, uh, we've got a one, and five is greater than one, four is greater than one. Uh, keep moving down until we hit one that isn't. Three is greater than one. Um, and 2 is greater than 1 um, and since it's the end of the pattern there the 1 will insert itself at the beginning and that is exactly what we want to see and so as you can see the array has been ordered in the right order and now we can move on to some programming and we've started our notebook already just like we uh, did in the beginning there and I'll call this uh, sub my array. And uh, we're gonna basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up uh, just a very simple array like we saw, uh, except I'm gonna do zero to nine um, in my first run through. And then we're going to do uh, we're gonna do some text so you can see text uh, getting sorted, and uh, and then we'll we'll go on from there. 
So basically, in this case, I'm going to create an, an array of variants. Um, so that'll be AR data there, uh, which has <clears throat> nine positions. So you can go zero to nine, which is actually 10, 10 items you can put in there. And I uh, save you the time here. I'm just jumping ahead. I loaded those with out of order um, integers and just ending on the last one here. And uh, there we go. So we've got 7538901264 um, in our array. And we need to sort that using, um, using our, our, sort our sort procedure. But just before we uh, get onto that, I think it would be useful to be able to loop through our array and uh, show the output. Um, so we're going to do a, a positional uh, integer here. Um, so that's just an integer. I know this is less than 32,000, uh, so it'll fit into an integer. Um, and uh, so what I'll do is I'm going to do a for next loop. And I'll say for in position equals 0 to 9. Um, and then I'll put a next. And then we'll just do a debug.print. And we'll just output the uh, the value that's in the position. So it's going to go, through, you know, 0 to 9. And then it's going to give whatever the number is in that position. You'll see it in the immediate window there that I, hi that I highlighted there. So the immediate win window is at the bottom. So if I hit uh, Run, um, it's just going to spit out those numbers uh, in the order that they are in the array. And so as you can see down at the bottom here, um, these are out of order. Um, and, uh, and so that's what our task is, is to go back and we're going uh, to order that array. And so what we're going to do is we're going to, we're just going to make a subroutine um, that just sorts the an array that's passed to it, basically. Uh, so it'll do it in place. Um, so we don't have to, it's not a function, it's not going to return the array. And then we have to, you know, do things with that or with, you know, with the result. This is actually, you're going to pass an array into this subroutine and it's going to sort it in place. Um, and so uh, you can continue to use the same array variable in your code. And that's a, sort of what we're going to do here. So, um, <clears throat> so what we'll do is, um, th these are, this is the output here from the original. I'm just going to select all and delete that from the immediate window um, so that we don't have it clogging things up when we actually want to run this. I'll also uh, clean up my my uh, indenting here. I like to indent the uh, the code from the sub there. And uh, and so we'll, we'll do an insertion sort. And um, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do exactly like I showed you uh, on the screen with the you know one to five array that you just saw, uh, but we're going to load some variables. So we're going to create a, a, a long um, for our first sort of uh, positional our counter, um, and we'll create one for the second one. So the first one is for that a counter. That's for the red arrow that you saw in in the uh, in the description that I did before and then the B that one's going to be for the loop that does the green arrow um, so uh, just so that you've got an idea of what's happening there so what we're going to do is we're going to say you know for a uh, is equal to zero to uh, uh, u bound which is the the end um, and in some cases uh, if you're using older versions, you may have to put a minus one in there. Um, but what we'll do is uh, we don't need to do that today. Um, so we'll just say from z uh, zero to u-bound of AR data, which is like the, the end basically, or the count of all the items in there, count of elements, um, the upper bound. Um, and what we'll do is we'll say uh, our, our var at val, our return variable is equal to uh, what's in the spot that you know uh, for that first one so that's the red arrow basically um, so what's the number in the red arrow we're going to load the return var variable with that and uh, and then we'll 
once we've got that value in there, then we're going to do the green arrow. And the green arrow is the one that sort of walks backwards and says, you know, okay, is this one greater than this one? If it is, then sort of move it in. Otherwise, uh, insert myself. And uh, var ret val is the red number that was up above there. So in, in, the, uh, in the description that I gave. So, so basically we're loading up that number and then we're gonna walk backward through and see you know, what, you know, how, how everything uh, compares. And so as we go backwards through the loop, we're gonna go back from that spot, from where the red arrow is to basically all the way to the beginning or, or until we hit a number that is not greater than uh, what's in the uh, red number at the top. And so if the, you know, the number that's being compared under the green or by the green arrow, if that one is greater than our number, uh, then we're going to move that to the position uh, of the red count or of the current position of the green arrow, I guess you'd, you'd call it, uh, or green arrow plus one. Um, so basically it shifts it over um, just like we saw in the, in the, uh, in the description that I gave at the beginning. And then, uh, but if it's not, then you exit right out of there. And uh, uh, if it's not greater than, then that's where you stop and you do your insert. And so uh, we'll get out. So it either stops where it found a number that is not greater than itself, uh, or it hits the end. Um, and so uh, basically, it walks backwards and it checks each of those values. And then once it finds one that is not bigger than itself, it stops and inserts. And, um, and then it puts, it, it puts itself in there. And that's sort of how insertion sort works. Um, I'll do a debug compile just to make sure I don't have any big errors in here. And uh, uh, let's see, check over a couple other things. Um, I think, yeah, that's, uh, is that zero? No, no, it's actually, uh, it goes from one to, uh, from the end back to one. That's right, yeah, you got to start at the second position. So that's a long counter A from one to U bound. Um, and um, because you got to start at the second position for this. So there's our array. And uh, so now what we're going to do is uh, after we built our array, we can just simply go, uh, you know, put our insertion sort and then uh, put in the argument of the uh, data. And, uh, and then we can say, uh, then basically we'll, we'll still go through one position one to nine and output the numbers just like we did. But hopefully we'll see a sorted, sorted set here, a sorted array. And yes, we do. So that's, that's positive. That's what we want to see. Um, so we've got 0 to 9, and that is exactly the outcome that we wanted. And now I should mention that uh, this is not just uh, handy for numbers. Um, since we did create a variant array, or an array of variants, as we say, uh, we, can, um, we can put in text, we can put in dates, we can put in uh, whatever we like. Anything that can be sorted um, can be sorted uh, this way. And it will it uses your uh, the sorting I guess of the uh, localization of your computer. Um, so uh, in this case, I could put in uh, Jim, you know, Sarah, Herbert, uh, Stanford. Uh, think of some other names here like Hugh, and and uh, and a couple other names, and we'll try that out. And uh, just to make sure that we're going to get the result that we want uh, when we're running this. Um, in uh, this insertion sort. Um, so can grab a couple last names here. We'll do Dave and Kevin and and uh, and say uh, Ron. There we go. So we got we got some names in there and they're all out of order. Um, and then we uh, we can just hit go on here because uh, it will give us what we want. So there we go. Yep. Um, uh, you can see it, it did it after it did the after it did the numbers. And uh, it did, you know, uh, each of the names and put them in order. And that is exactly what we wanted to see. Um, I could clean that up by selecting all and sort of deleting everything out of the immediate window and rerunning it. That'll 
give you sort of a better uh, picture here. So I'll go back up here, I'll run it again, and as you can see it sorts it um, just the way I want. And that is how you can do an insertion sort on your VBA arrays in Microsoft Access. And for those of you on my Patreon or those of you who are thinking of joining up, I did do some additional stress testing of this on a bigger data set. That's something that you can check out. Are you looking to hire more resources for your, your programming project? Make sure to check out the additional links in the description. Hope you enjoyed today's discussion on insertion sort using Microsoft Access VBA. If you like what you saw today, please give the video a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Click the bell when you see the bell. And if you have any questions or comments, please put those in the comment section below. Have a great day, have a safe day, and I'll catch you next time.